Second question is from Madison Fishy. You guys frequently mention consuming 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight and mostly from meat for its muscle building effects and satiating factors. However, we know from data from the blue zones, longevity comes from lower protein intake and many of these people don't resistance train. What about higher meat-based protein diets for longevity and for individuals who don't train? I, you know, I love questions like this. All right, here's the problem with the observation that low protein uh, is best for longevity or any singular factor that you may see in some of these blue zones. These people live a long time because of the combination of all of the things that they do. Like they right. made the, the mention that they don't resistance train. Okay, follow them along throughout their day. And what you'll find is a lot of general activity, hiking, swimming, rowing. And they're it, usually along the equator where they get a lot of sun, vitamin D. And not to mention community. what we don't know is if they were to resistance train one to three times a week, how much better and healthier would they be? Right. That, that's the other thing. Like, would they benefit from doing a little bit of resistance training? Uh, would, it, would, they, would it be even better for them? I would say absolutely. Here's the other thing. They're not just low protein. They're low ca calorie. All of these people uh, in these blue zones, one thing they all had in common is they just didn't eat a lot of food. They didn't overconsume. Now, it is true that eating a low-calorie diet in combination with a healthy lifestyle probably adds to longevity, and that's fine. Uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're somebody that also wants life quality, and quality of life means having a little bit more strength, uh, a little bit more muscle, um, then I see that as, you know, include that in the whole answer for yourself. What's, it, cause it's not just about living longer. It's also about living better. What does that mean for you? Like, for example, mm -hmm. never eating birthday cake, uh, ever, you'll probably live longer, but, uh, are you going to live better if you avoid eating the cake at your kid's birthday or maybe something that you enjoy making with family members or whatever, throwing those thing in, th th throwing all of those things in also adds, you know, quality. Well, also consider this: or, you know, if you were somebody who lived in a blue zone or lived a lifestyle like that, and what, what comes to mind is like, you know, the the family that like literally lives on a farm and produces everything they eat. Mm. The amount of you know lifting hay and, yeah. and stacking boxes and you know pushing plows and like you don't need to work out. Right, exactly. This person is getting a workout every single day. The food choices that they're making are whole foods. They're eating in a calorie deficit compared to how much they're burning with all their activity. Like, hell yes, if that if that's you, if you're asking this question, you live on the farm, you're growing all your food, you're doing all this stuff, skip working out and skip eating, you know, 0.8 to 1 gram, per, you'll be fine and you'll live probably a very long life. But the reality is that's not 90% of the people listening to this podcast right now. In fact, 90% of you listening right now are probably fucking doing it sitting down, mm -hmm. sitting down in a car, sitting down in a computer, in your desk. Maybe a, the other 10% are rock, walking on a treadmill or exercising and listening to us. In your, but most of us live a very sedentary lifestyle. We live nothing like a blue zone. So to cherry pick some of the data to use that as an example of like maybe how we should live our lives. Yeah, you can't do that. It's tough. No, you know, you can't do that. And here's the other thing too. Um, now there are societies and cultures that we've that people have studied that eat a higher protein diet that do have uh, exceptional health, but they're also low calorie. Because here's the problem: all of the if you look at all the countries in the world that ate a lot of protein, you're also looking at generally speaking, all the countries in the world that eat a lot of calories. So Americans eat a lot of protein in comparison to blue zone uh, countries, but they also just eat a lot of everything. Yeah. We eat more fat, we eat more carbs. Throw everything in there. We eat way more just calories in general. So that's one of the big things. Now, I do have a hack for this. Let's say you are somebody that's, you know, you want to build muscle, you like eating a high protein diet, like the way it makes you feel, the, the way it makes you look, but you do identify that there may be some longevity benefits to eating a low calorie diet, you can actually get some of those benefits by fasting occasionally. Yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe you normally do eat a high protein diet. You're trying to build muscle, build strength, but maybe once every other month you do a 48 or 72 hour fast. Um, you're going to reap a lot of the benefits just from doing that. I, th the, I think there's, sorry to interrupt you, no but problem. I mean, to, I, uh, to this point you're saying right now, uh, and I believe our good friend, uh, Ben Pokolsky uh, recommends this. You could protein fast. Yeah. 
You have, if you, you want, can go low protein for a week. Yeah, Absolutely. or even a day. Well, I think he recommends it once once a week for a day. Mm. Once a week for a day, go protein fast. There's nothing wrong with that. And the, the same benefits that we're seeing that these that the people in the blue zones are getting from this, you'll reap those similar benefits by just either doing what Sal's saying, which is you know every other month doing a, a, a massive you know two day or forty eight hour type of forty eight hour seventy two hour fast from all foods or simply choosing every other week or once mm-hmm. a week doing a protein fast and you are doing like and you used to do this a lot and you introduced me to it i did it is uh you know occasional all vegan day day where you eat that way so there's lots of values and ways for you to get these similar benefits of a lot of the research that we see between these people that are on low calorie diets low protein low everything oh, that's what that's what fasting is all mm-hmm. about 